Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of transports. So where we left off in our last video is we have, we've gotten our train, our first train set up and it's making some good money. We also uh, maxed it out as far as the number of trailers it was carrying. And then we got started with a sort of a lesser uh, schedule that we're running uh, from right over here inside the city to over here at uh, the waste plant and that's making us just a very little amount of money definitely not going to get us rich that's for sure but again it's just another example of uh, some of the some of the routes that you can set up that'll make money and as we talked about some of them will make a little bit of money some of them will make a ton of money and most of them will be somewhere in between so a lot of things that I really want to get to um, as quickly as we can mostly because I'm just having so much fun doing them and one of the things that we talked about in our last video is the upgrade. I'm actually going to go ahead and let's get the world going at least at normal speed for right now. And the upgrades where I talked about those, they're up here under research. So as we continue to unlock through the passage of time, mostly the, the new trucks and new uh, ships and new trains and so on, we are going to have more upgrades that are available. Right now, uh, it doesn't really tell you, but this is the only truck that we have available as far as uh, transferring goods. So we have two upgrades that are available. There's an engine upgrade that says it enhances the performance of the engine and increases the speed by 10%. Or maximum towable mass increases the maximum towable mass. One more trailer can be attached. This is what we want. Okay, so it's gonna cost us $150,000. Let's go ahead and begin that research and it's going to take a certain amount of time and whenever it is done it will actually pop up over here the left hand side that research has been completed so we've got that part going now there's a couple of other things uh, that i want to get done one is i want to set up an additional train on this particular route and the reason why is because if we look here this we're already maxed out here at uh, 200, actually 204 uh, tons, and our particular train can carry 150 tons, and it doesn't take long. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit more, and we'll see this happen in real time. So all we're concerned with right now is we want to watch the action here at the station. Okay, so our train pulls in. He's going to unload 150 tons of this. There we go. And then immediately you can see the coal start dropping back in and filling back up. So what we're concerned with is how quickly does it get to a number that would make it feasible for us to add a second train to the route. And already you can tell, I mean, halfway on this route is going to be somewhere in this area, vaguely. And as the train approaches that, you can see we're right at the 150 number. Now, the good part about this is even if we weren't quite at 150, it's not a big deal. This route is going to be very profitable for our trains, regardless of whether it's the full 150 tons that we have on board, or maybe it's only 100 or 125 or whatever. It's still going to be very profitable. So let's, one more time, let's go in here and zoom in on the train station. And just because I love to see these huge green numbers, 79,000. So maybe we only make 65,000 per trip. It's still not that big a deal. That's my point. So what I'm going to do is start to set up a secondary route. And again, as I mentioned in the previous video, I am by no means an expert in any of this. So it's entirely possible that I am going to mess some things up. And if I mess some things up, it's entirely possible that uh, we'll work through it and eventually figure it out. So what I want to do is set up an alternate route so that we can have two trains pass by each other without colliding. Now, as we already know, there's currently no collision. So even if it didn't work, we would still be fine. We're not going to have any trucks uh, or, excuse me, trains damaged or uh, stuck on the tracks. So I'm actually going to start that secondary path up about right here. Okay, and we're going to run this all the way down past roughly halfway. And then we're going to have it go to about right there. That seems pretty good. There's, it doesn't have to be a huge length of track. The biggest thing is I want to set up where this train stops so that the other 
uh, the other station here will have time to fill back up. And I think that'll give us pretty good amount of time. And the trains over time will spread themselves out uh, with the spacing naturally. So let's go ahead and connect these back to our main track. And then we need to set up some signals. Um, as it is currently, this secondary track we've got here won't be used. So that's no good for us. So I'm going to show you how I have set them up in sort of my free play that I've been doing off camera. And then we'll come back and hopefully it'll work the same way here. So what I'm going to do is set up, you can see there's a two-way and a one-way signal here. I'm going to set up a two-way signal at each of our stations. And one of the ways that you can do, because this right here, number one, we can't zoom in close enough to actually see what the signal looks like very well. You can kind of see it. Uh, and because I'm not familiar with actual railroad signals, I it took me a while to figure this out. But if, if you press Control, it will give you an indication of sort of what this is trying to do. All right, and as we move it over here out of the way, you can see there's green on the bottom, and then there's a blue arrow with a question mark at the top. So what I'm going to do is set the green arrow up on the side of the station. And for me, that means that any time a train is leaving the station, it's automatically got the green light. Okay, that's the way I'm going to explain it. That is definitely not in railroad terms. Okay, so we've got that one set up. Okay, so green from the station so that a train can always leave the station. And I've got it set up as near to the station as I am allowed to do so. Okay, so let's come back over to the other station. And this is the nearest block to the station. And you can see now we need to reverse this. Let's see which way we need to go. Nope. Nope, still not there. There we go. So now if I try to put it in the station itself, it'll tell me it can't be built. So now we're going to put it right here, just outside the station. All right, so that'll set up part of what we need to do. And then we need to determine, okay, what could, sort of a route do we want these trains to use? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the train that's coming from left to right, I'm going to have it use this alternate route. Uh, at least that's what we're going to set out to try to do anyway. And let's see how it works out. All right, so now we've got the one-way signal, and I'm going to set it up so that whenever it is traveling, we want, again, using control, let's see how we need to orient this thing. Okay, and let's see, I want, I'll tell you what, let's flop this around. Well, if I can ever figure out which way it's supposed to go, there we go. All right, so we want the blue on the right hand side and the red we want on the left hand side and what that should do is it should tell the train that's coming from the left that you need to go up and use this other area particularly if there is a train coming okay so we're going to go ahead and put that down there okay and what we're going to do is at the other end we're going to do the same thing and again, I'm going to get it as close to uh, this connection here as I can. So once again, we're going to do this the same way and hope that I get it right. All right, so then on the other side of this, so the, on the, uh, the section of tracks that we just added, I am going to flip that around the other way. And nope, I've missed it. Well, come on now. There we go. So now we're going to have the blue on the left-hand side, which is... Let's see, let's get it in the very last block here. So blue on, on the left-hand side, since that's which way this train should be coming from. Let's go ahead and put that over there and then scroll back down until we get to this end of the track. And we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, and if we can scroll in, again, we can't quite get far enough, but you should be able to see which way that these uh, particular signals are are facing, these one-way signals. This would be the front, which tells me that a train would be traveling this direction to see this. And if we come around the other side, again, can't get quite close enough, but you can see this is the back side of it. So the train would not be coming straight down through here. So now here in just a moment, we'll get to see if that actually works. All right, so for now, let's see, where is our train anyway? Okay, he got our first train is over there. So let's come into our station, or our depot rather, and let's pick up a locomotive. 
we're going to get the 51 again because it's a little bit faster we can still do seven trailers although one of those is going to be for uh, for the coal so we can't really worry too much about that then we'll come in so you can see it's automatically got a coal car on there and then we're going to add some trailers and we want to add wherever it's at there we go coal trailers and we're going to do one two three four five and six so that will max us out then we'll do our information tab once again and let's see let's just go ahead and close that out we don't really need that and let's see if we can get everything in one we can we need to get everything in one screen so we're going to start over here at our loading area and then second stop will be our unloading area okay and then we're going to enable that you can faintly hear our train sound and we're going to start this thing up and we're going to see how i did with these signals and see if i messed these up and if i did then we'll try to fix them all right so we got a train coming down he's going to go straight through so far so good now our train gets loaded our new train so you can see he's got 150 and so this train should stop when he gets right to the edge and there he goes so he stops then our other train should go the alternate route and again this little bit of time that we've got for a delay here is just giving this station time to refill so it's good even though there's a delay there where our trains are stopped it's a good thing because it enables our station to fill back up so there'll be 150 ready whenever this train gets there so what this is going to effectively do is double our income from this train route we've added a second train because the stations would allow it okay let's see this particular one and okay there you go 79,000 there this train has a hundred and and 50 so so far so good and you can see it took the alternate route the new section of track that we set up all right so everything is working great so again just to sort of summarize and and let you go you guys know how I did this and feel free to rewind uh, the video and watch again uh, it took me a quite a while to work out exactly what I needed to do but essentially what I did for these signals is I set up segments of track one segment began here and ended up here where my truck my train takes the alternate route so that's one section and then one another section is from this signal down to the signal at the very end of this alternate section and then the final section began there and goes all the way down to the stop and then on the way back section begins at the stop ends right here at our very first uh, signal and then the next section is from there all the way down to right where um, our connection is and then finally once again we have our final section which begins there and ends at the train stop so that's how i did it again i'm not claiming that that is the only way or the best way to do it it just simply is the way that i worked out to get it uh, to work for me so now that we've got that done you can see our money is just going to explode and let's see what we got once again the full 150 tons let's zoom in over here make sure we're getting our 79,000 still yep so everything seems to be working well and as I said even if it turns out that we only get maybe 130 120 or something like that it's still going to be perfectly fine and make us lots of money so that takes care of duplicate trains or multiple trains on one track okay now let's move on to something else that i want to start uh, let's see we've got some issues over here i want to get rid of some news items the economy has cooled down okay so we've got some city notifications we're not going to worry about those and let's see we're still working on our research you can see it doesn't have very much longer to go on that and then that's going to bring us to another situation so we already know for instance on this particular route where we have three drivers 
on this route, but it's not making all that much money. If we choose one of these trucks, you can see, I mean, there is profit there, but it's not really that much. I mean, this is not uh, a huge amount. You can pick up on the train here, and we got $125,000 of profit on it, and then $300,000 of profit on this second one. So, I mean, this is quite a bit better than what we're seeing with this route for the waste. However, there we go. We got our, our information tab pops up that says research project has been completed. So now what we can do, and let's go ahead and pause time for just a moment so things don't get away from us. We've got three trucks on this. And if we come back into the depot and we're under the buy tab, if I look at a truck, you can see it cost me $2,300 per month to operate one of these trucks. Well, that is considerably more than a trailer cost. So what I can actually do here is, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to, let's see if this guy, okay, he's already loaded up. So let's catch this guy as he starts back and we're going to have him go to the depot and we'll see We'll speed up time a little bit more. And remember, Spacebar will allow you to go uh, from regular time to, I believe that's double time or three times. You can go five times by holding down the Spacebar. Okay, so now we've got our driver back in the depot. So we're going to exit out of that screen, pull him up in the depot, and now we're going to go to Adjust Upgrades. And right here under Upgrades, you can see the engine upgrade, which we have not purchased just yet. We've not done that, but the maximum towable mass we have done. So for 17,000, we can buy that upgrade. So now we're done there and now we can add a trailer. Okay. And for this, we needed a waste trailer. There we go. So let's add that. We come back over to the depot. Now you can see there is two left on there. Okay. I wanted to get out of that screen just so I could get rid of the upgrade screen. So let's go ahead back over to the depot under information. And there we go. Let's get him back on his way. So what I'm actually going to do, instead of having three single trailer trucks on the route, I'm actually going to pick up and have this guy go to the depot as well. And I'm going to have two double on the route. All right, so this will give us time. This guy goes to the depot, and we'll focus just for a moment on this double trailer coming in. So he now has 40 tons, and let's see how much money he is going to get. We would expect twice as much, so now he gets 6,000. Yikes, that is huge. Okay, so things are going well there. I don't remember it making uh, quite that much before. But we will definitely, definitely take that. All right, so now we have our second truck in the depot. We need to, once again, adjust the upgrades, maximum towable mass. We will take that. Now, granted, it costs money, but for me, it's worth it because you're able to keep down the number of trucks and trailers that are on the map to accomplish the same or even more particular work and, and more money earned. Okay, so now we've got, oops, forgot to add our trailer. There's our waste trailer. And you can see it only costs 500 per month. So a good bit less, about a fourth, maybe a fifth less uh, per month. So we'll definitely take that. We purchase the trailer. Now we have that going and we'll enable that truck to get back on the road. Now what we need to do is find our our third truck, which we are not upgrading yet, but I may change my mind on that. With the amount of money that is being generated here, let's, let's zoom in. I, I was thinking it was about $300 that we were getting before. No, it's 3,000. Yikes, okay, that's not bad. Uh, no, never mind. I remember what it was. Our, it was about $300 of profit. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so the double up, all that stuff makes sense to me. It took me a, a few minutes to remember what that $300 was, but that's what it was. It was the profit per 
All right, and now what we're going to do here, which we're actually going to delete this truck. We no longer need it. Now we have two double trucks, two double trailers on that route, and we're going to leave it at that. Uh, again, that particular route isn't all that profitable, uh, but now we're going to have two doubles on it, and that will leave us open for the next thing on the list, which is let's start to work within the city some. Okay, so we've gotten some upgrades done, which we're going to go ahead and start another upgrade. Let's, what do we have for the trains? You can see we have two trains here, and those are simply the different models that are unlocked. There's a loading process. Okay, I like that. It increases the loading and unloading time by 20%. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and take care of that, and that'll help our, uh, our engines out, our steam engines. So now let's take a look at the cities themselves. All right, and what we want to do for this next particular part of it is we are going to start setting up bus stops and picking up passengers within the city and moving them around within the city itself. Okay, you can see there we've got a new, what is this? Oh, it's a new oil tanker. Okay, so we've got a new ship available. And whenever you're taking passengers around within a city, one of the things you want to do is start out with a fairly large city. Obviously, the larger the city, the more potential money you can make. This is not bad. This is about uh, mid-size. Uh, I've seen plenty of cities in the 24, 2500 range early on in the game as far as population. So this will be roughly half that. So what we're going to do is, once again, let's go ahead and pause the game, even though we don't necessarily have to, because we're making quite a bit of money. And what we're going to do is come back in under our street menu, just like we did for our trucks, and we're going to set up some bus stops. Now, we don't need another terminal. We could use bus terminals if we wanted to, but for now, we're just going to use bus stops. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to put some of these down and really I'm just trying to get an approximate uh, way of hitting all of the areas. So let's put down one there and let's see, one there. Let's come down to about right there. So that's one, two, three. And I also have to remember where these are. Four, let's do, uh, let's see, what can I do? five there and let's see where are you going to let me put one six right on the side of a hill here and seven maybe one more there with eight now i can't tell you what the proper number of these to put in a city is uh, you just have to sort of you know guess at the beginning and then as you get trucks on the or buses on the route. You just sort of have to look at their profitability, how close they are to one another, and judge it from there. So it's a lot of trial and error for me to get there. So what we want to do now is come into our depot. We're going to choose the bus. Now, we only have one bus right now, but again, as time passes, we're in 1954 right now. As time passes, you will get better and better equipment. So we're going to start out with the P50. And, of course, we don't need any trailers. Instead, we're just going to pull up the information tab, and let's go to the schedule. Now, here is a very difficult part for me, finding all of the stations that I set down, or all the bus stops. Now, they give you an idea here with the names that pop up on the map. However, I have found these to be a little misleading. Sometimes I have a hard time finding all of them. Uh, but the names that pop up do at least give you a general idea of where you should be looking. There we go. And then I think we've got one. Where was it? Was it right there? Yeah, there we go. And then we've got another one, I think, somewhere. Is it right there? Yeah, there we go. All right. And then one more, I believe, that I put right there. There we go. So there's my approximate route. I mean, we could do with some more stops in this area and who knows we may come back to that a little later on but for now uh, we want to let's exit out of that because I want to make sure this gets what we want and then we are going to copy this and we're going to start out with two of these on the route so let's come back under information and enable this one 
and you can see there it comes right out of the depot and then he's going to hit the route so as he does this and of course he'll start way up here with the first stop that we set up so as he does this i'm going to try to space these out pretty good okay let's go ahead and bring up the information for our second one and the reason i want to spread them out is to give plenty of time for the passengers to show up all right there we go let's go ahead and enable that one so what we're going to notice as we watch this is that right now he hasn't picked up any passengers yet that will start to change as we start to uh, pass each one of these bus stops for the first time passengers will start to approach and that should show up with our second truck so he can carry 16 people and already his first stop now is he got 16 he'll drop these off and he picks up 16 more so things are going great you can see our first bus that went through is basically playing the role of getting things started and you can see each time we drop off 16 pick up 16 we get a little over a thousand dollars there we go so we got 900 that time all right now we see what was our first bus on the route pops in and did he still not pick up anybody no he did okay he picked up his first passengers now he should start making money there you go 881 and we'll jump back over to our our other bus and you can see we're already doing great on the profit there we go in fact to see how we're doing uh, one of the ways is of course to watch these buses as they move around and making sure that they're picking up quite a few passengers if you find that they're only picking up you know one two three passengers something like that then you might have too many trucks or you might be in too small of a city for it to matter so let's take a look at a couple of things here now we have a neutral status with this particular city we've started to provide them direct services through our bus routes okay and that's going to become important for a couple of reasons first it's important because naturally it's helping us make more money second it's important because we want a very good relationship or even an excellent relationship preferably with this city for later on because later on we're going to want to get into an airport and in order to get an airport we're going to need something from their activities which is a flight license okay at the very beginning these are extremely expensive but the good thing is as you sort of level up or gain the confidence of the city and gain favor with the city the price decreases right now we're at 10 million i believe it starts off at 20 million if you have no relationship whatsoever with the city which is exactly where we were before we started running bus routes Okay, let's start the, the game back up again. So keep that number in mind. We're down to 10 million is what a flight license would cost us right now. And essentially that is the license needed to build and operate an airport near this city. And by near, I mean like we would want to put it like out in this area, maybe down in here if there's enough room, you know, somewhere along those lines. And we'll keep checking back here and seeing what our status is right now. We're neutral and they are growing fast which is good for us because the higher their population the more goods and services they need and once we get an airport going we can basically print our own money so all right let's take a moment and just sort of step back and think about what we have accomplished in today's video so we got a second train going both of them are fully loaded you can see we're now over a profit of 133 thousand with this truck or excuse me this train only 54,000 so far with this train but again not to worry we've, we're now into 1954 I mean we've got almost 1.4 million so things are going really well right now and you can see all we've done is just a little bit on this portion of the map we've not ventured out into any other parts of the map and already we have a steady cash flow coming in that is doing quite well another thing we were able to accomplish today is the upgrades we got 
an upgrade for our maximum towable mass on the trucks, meaning that now each one of our trucks can tow two trailers as opposed to just one. That enabled us to lower our cost overall uh, on a per month basis and also double our income each time. So that's going to help us make more money. And then we got over here into the city and we began moving passengers for them. Now you can see passengers, it says 52, 55. And as we continue dropping off passengers, it's going to increase that number. You notice it just reset though. And that is because we entered a new month. So everything is on a monthly scale in this game. So we got up to about 55% of the passenger requirement fulfilled that month. That's what's going to help us to increase uh, our relationship here and eventually get this number down from 10 million to a much lower number that we'll be looking for whenever it's time uh, to get involved with airports. And like I said, once we get to airports, things will be very good because you can make quite a bit of money, similar to what you do with uh, trains. A lot of money to be made with airports because that's where we will start to move around Oops, let's get the city itself, not the station. Because once we get into airports, we'll start to not only be able to move around passengers, but we'll be able to move around mail as well. And you can see there is a lot of that that needs to be moved. So those are some things that I'm thinking about for the future. And of course, we're going to branch out to more cities uh, and try to get more trains, more truck routes, more of everything. But again, right now we're trying to take it slow and earn the most money we can on these specific areas and these specific activities. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more of our Let's Play series of transports.